Alrighty then, it's time for another new new game. This one is with a very peculiar build. This one that works on a lot of fatty champions as well. In fact, it's making Mundo, which do one of the most banned and picked champions right now. I believe Dr. Mundo's win rate is at 57% and he's using this exact build. The build is going to be put in the description below and probably in the comments as well. No one has a name for it yet, but it's using the Grasp of the Undying Mastery. And if your champion has some CC, you get Oppressor from the Offensive Tree. It doesn't really matter. You got 12 points into anything else, but you got to grab the Grasp of the Undying. The idea is that your champion is just really fucking fat, and you just slap things and heal yourself with a... Uh, heal yourself often. It's a sort of... Uh, attrition build, so to speak. So the name Saitama, if you know One Punch Man, it's kind of a silly one, but the fans said, you know, you should name it this, and it's fun, whatever, and you're kind of just punching people to death. Though in the case of Nunu, it's the, you know, the Slap Man. The idea with it is that uh, early game, it's not that big of a deal, but if you're kind of in a wet noodle fight, you're just sapping their health and healing yourself up for a little bit, so you're kind of just out-sustaining the enemy. With champions like Nunu, Dr. Mundo, and hell, even Olaf, you can see him, he also probably took the build. It's sort of a, uh, again, attrition. Like, if they try to fight back, you heal yourself up by punching them, by eating something, by draining a potion, by uh, activating your ultimate, or whatever, as Dr. Mundo, I mean. So, early game is just helping you not die. It's really frustrating for the enemy because they can't do anything to stop this sort of sustain. You can see, look, he's just kind of realizing, you know what, this is fucking pointless. Though, of course, he doesn't know Tom was going to come. So, Early on in the game, though, I made a, a few mistakes and got myself punished for them so I couldn't take advantage of this. It's not a killer build yet. And later on into the game, it becomes a bigger deal. You start hitting harder while still being tanky. It's uh, important because, again, you're not building any real damage. You're not building offense, yet your auto attacks are hitting hard. The idea is with a presser, with uh, the, the grasp of the undying, you slow them, you punch them, and then they just walk away. If they try to fight back, you just heal yourself up by full eating something or slowly slugging it out so you can proc it again. Again, right now, it's not big of a deal because I don't have any mana, I don't really have a way to contest it, and I kind of am just been kind of misusing it. Though he also has the damn build, so it's just kind of him winning. Of course, uh, Tom comes in time, saves my life, the guy isn't going to try to pick me off, but Tom takes the blow, and then Twisted Fate tra uh, teleports in, so he takes the... he makes them uh, the LeBlanc and the Vi afraid to engage. Anyway, again, this build becomes stronger later on, and on someone like Dr. Mundo, he begins to hit really hard. And it becomes impossible to fight him off, because he's just going to heal himself. Dr. Mundo right now is not being played as a pseudo-tank, he's being played as a straight-out fighter. Now watch this. Now, now I've gotten more health as Nunu. Now I've gotten more levels, and I've started to invest more into the E, so I'm going to hurt really hard. If the Do Olaf gets close, I'm going to just start punching him out. He missed his uh, Q, so I'm you know, feeling apt to trade for this, bringing him closer to my minion line. And as you can see, the sustain is stupid. He can't fight me anymore. You know, To be honest, if he wasn't so reckless, I couldn't fight him either. But that's the point. You're creating this new little fatty mode kind of jungle. I mean, a jungle and top lane. So... Da Nunu, with this build, has become very aggravating and honestly kind of fun to play because he's just a dick, or even bigger of a dick. And the thing is, this build is reasonable. It's not too outlandish. So while you have things like the Rage Blade going crazy, or the Warlord's Decree, or the AD Carries just being too strong, this build is pretty tame in comparison to them, but it is strong. So when everything else gets nerfed, I'm pretty sure this build is going to be stay relevant. And it's pretty good to have a type of tank like this, like Nunu in top lane, or Dr. Mundo as well. By the way, this is fun. The Olaf thought he was safe, so it just flashed over, used my ultimate for damage, and he just gets punished so hard. Uh, he should have been paying attention to the to the to his screen. Either way, again, the the build is in the description below. For Dr. Mundo, I gotta elaborate a little bit more. You, as Dr. Mundo, you max out Q or you max out E depending on the matchup, usually you Q in the jungle. In the lane, if they're melee, you max out E, if you at the range, you max out Q, etc, etc. Basically, your W has become your new 1.1 wonder with this new build. You All you do is slow someone with your Q, 
get up close and personal with them and just start punching them out really hard. Same thing with Nunu, but again, not as much damage as Dr. Mundo. With Dr. with Nunu, you build, you take him for utility. Like this Caitlyn right now, Caitlyn and Nunu is a very classic combo. You just give her your blood boil and she becomes really strong. And with other AD carries, Nunu, his value becomes extreme. Yeah, I've started seeing more Nunus besides just myself. The people who are realizing that Nunu is pretty fucking gorgeous right now. I'm taking the tower just to let Caitlyn and my teammates just go crazy into the Tristana. And a fight is going to brew right now, I believe. Yeah, they re-engage on the Soraka, who I'm surprised did not get banned or even picked, considering how low she is in, into the pick phase. Uh, she's start, you know, healing this up is becoming a huge menace. It's kind of sad that Riot kind of did not foresee that Soraka would be fucking cancer. Anyways, uh, Vi engages, she gets slowed down, she gets punished. I get focused, which is what I want, considering I'm not going to die very easily. Although then, more of their homies are going to show up, or at least they're going to recoup their cooldowns, and then they just go straight out at me and finish me off. It's, I'm honestly a terrible choice uh, a choice target. They should have just focused on Caitlyn, because now the fight gets really, really nasty. So if Fate comes in, kills the Tristana, Olaf charges through, finishes off the Caitlyn alongside the LeBlanc, and then Tom gets here and just starts licking everybody's bungholes and finishing them off. The Olaf has no chance of escaping as he gets eaten by Tom, cold carded, and absolutely murdered. So that was a huge bra. I know, I know. The game seems very, very stompy, but you gotta give me credit here. Uh, the uh, so Right now, solo queue of the preseason is very, very stompy. You either win or you lose, or if someone goes AFK and the game is over anyway. So, in this case, you can see the Tom also, I believe, went to Grasp from the Undying. He's also going the Saitama build, is what my fans decided to dub it. You can just call it the Grasp of the Undying build, or the Undying build, or whatever. I like uh, One Punch Man a lot, so I'm calling it the Saitama build for now. Either way, it's you just fatties, Tom, Nunu, Olaf in a way, that can, that can slow you down enough for them to just start punching your dick, will become a lot stronger with that mastery. It's really nice. Core it on someone like Nunu, I love it a lot because the other masteries aren't exactly the best, although uh, Stone of Bond is great because if, uh, if if they focus fire your teammates, you take away some of the punishment from them, but still, it makes champions who would normally not be so damaging kind of damaging in a way. Like Nunu, I get at least, my slaps become at least a little bit stronger without having to invest into them. So I really like it. Of course, uh, I got run of ages only because you know I got this big. If it was in another situation, I would have, uh, I would have probably just bought something else. But the if you want to make the, your Saitama build super fucking good on anybody, which is the again this is the Doctor Muno build, you get, uh, you get, run of it. Not run of it. Just sorry, you get any. Uh, any sheen item sort of if you can if you can get it otherwise you get dead man's plate you get something that gives you a, sh a shitload of hell randuin's omens or even war mocks if you're super fed anything like that and uh you get titanic hydra if that suits you in the case of uh nunu i prefer the the frozen gauntlet or whatever it's called i keep forgetting his damn name and just line up with your punch to go one huge ass punch chunk them down and then just beat them to death uh, again on Dr. Mundo, it's you cleaver them, which activates your presser on them, and then you just punch them really hard with your E. And they're pretty much down for the count, and you just start wailing on them. They can't fight you can't fight you off because you're just gonna heal a lot with everything. Sure, grievous wounds hurts you, but they have to build that thing first, which of course isn't really a, uh, a great item on everybody, so you just kind of uh, you just kind of force them into a corner they don't really want to be in. And as you can see, it allowed me to do a, a, quite a bit of damage. And N Olaf just can't fucking kill me. It's like, if he tries to fight me, I just sap him for his health, eat something, run, a, go around and go nuts. It's just fun. It's a really, really, uh, again, attrition build. You outlast your opponent and they can't do anything against you unless they have it themselves and they have some natural sustain. I don't know about other champions like Aatrox or anything because th those champions might want their build, uh, mastery build going somewhere else. But this build has been going, doing so well on naturally tanky champions who like to stack health and they have some form of crowd control on them. Again, I'll repeat it just so people know the champions. Nunu, Dr. Mundo, 
Tom are prime prime candidates for that, and then to a lesser extent, stuff like Olaf are really good with it. And apparently Galio too, but he might deviate too much from what he'd actually want. So by the way, again, again, the build is in the description below and in the comments. Try this build out. It's really fun and it's actually really useful, especially in a fast meta like this. Hooray!